Hi, I'm Craig of Craig's Custom Carpentry, and I just got in the brand new Capex saw stand. And I'm going to be showing you on this video how it goes together, how to use it, and how great it is. It's going to help you improve your daily activities out there cutting wood. So, let's get started. Okay, what I'm going to go through now is the new um, Capex stand. I'm going to set it up and show you how it works. So, these here are the two. Uh, wings that come uh, with it. So uh, let me just set these off to the side here for a second. Okay, so after you attach the uh, saw to it, as you can see, you can wheel it up to the job site, over the grass, wherever. It has great, excellent wheels. So once you get it where you want it to go, you set it down, put your foot on here, and there's a little release handle back here. You just lift it up, and then you just pull the saw up, lift this down. Simple as that for this part. Okay. Now then, let's strain up the saw here. Let's get the wings. Now, a couple of things with this. These have a leg that drops down. This knob here is an adjusting knob, so you can raise and lower the height of this to balance out for uneven ground. So, uh, and then this side over here is what goes up underneath and attaches up here to the V-groove on the Capex. So, let's put that in. Drop the leg down. Set it up in here like this. And you line it up, and you get down under here, and there's a little knob right here, and you push this in here, tighten it up, flush it up here, that's it. This wing is on, okay, and as I mentioned, coming over here, you have the little knob here that'll raise this up or down depending on the terrain. That is a great little feature. So, let's go over now and put on the other wing. Okay, here's the uh, left side uh, trimming attachment. Open up the leg, just put it up here, set it in the V groove on the uh, Capex, just like you did the other side. And, uh, Push this in, line it up. <clears throat> you gotta make sure you push this up here real nice. And then I'll give it a nice solid fit, which is good. Okay. So, that's that lined up real nice. Tighten this up again. Now then, let me go over some of the features of the stand. It comes with a uh, stop on both sides, and uh, that way you can set, you know, you're doing uh, repetitive cuts, you just set the stop, lock it down, drop the little lever, you can make repetitive cuts. Now then, <clears throat> let's say you got some long molding. and you need some support. Now the wing out here, as I mentioned, is about four feet long. So, what you can do here is undo this little knob and pull out an extension. And this extension adds about another three feet to the wing. So, and that way it will support extra molding out here for if you need to cut a straight edge on one end. So that is really nice because that way you have the extra room if you need it and if you don't need it you just tuck it back in here. And another feature that comes with this is another stop. So if you want to have longer pieces you need to make repetitive cuts. Again it has a stop for you to set it up and usually do repeat cuts. Okay now then 
get rid of this. Now then, the saw stand itself, you'll notice there's these green knobs here. And what these do is these actually lock the saw onto the stand. And you just turn it to unlock it and turn it to lock it. So if you want to take the saw off of the stand, you just turn these and unlock them. And then you can lift it up and you got the saw. And as I mentioned earlier, the saw is screwed down into this black part here which holds the saw on there. There's really not much need to, uh, you know, want to detach it, but if you do, it's very simple to do. So, you worked all day, you're done working, you want to go. So, you just unscrew these again. Take them off. Set them down. And to detach the saw, you just lock the saw down like you normally would. Turn this. Now they always recommend to turn the saw all the way over to the 60 degree angle. That way it keeps the saw balanced on the stand. And again, you just put your foot right here and you just lift it up like this pull this up like this drop the saw down and as you can see from over here this snaps in and here's a little lever that you just push down and it holds the saw in place and you're ready to go and now you can just wheel this up to your vehicle, up to your truck or your van, <clears throat> and you're done. Now, a couple other little features that this has. You might have noticed these knobs here. These are levelers. So if the ground is a little bit unlevel, you just have to loosen this a little bit. Twirl that up or down. Crank the handle and you're done. Now, you're ready to pack up and go. These will fit right in here on each side of the stand. It comes with a strap and a plastic cover to go over both ends, which you can set it here in the stand. Unfortunately, <clears throat> I did not get those yet. They will be here shortly, and uh, as an ad, you know, they come with it, and it just makes it easier where they just fit right in here. You just tip it, wheel it up, you're done. So, that's the new Capex stand. I've been very uh, pleased with it been using it today several times to get the feel of it but it's set up real simple it's real nice it's lightweight and uh, it's very solid to uh, put together and will make uh, pen wood and working with the K-Pax and on jobs uh, makes your day go a lot easier so thank you very much and enjoy <clears throat>